15 Unbelievable Things Found by Airport Security Number 15 Leopard Cub In February of 2019, officials from Air Intelligence Unit at Chennai International Airport in India became suspicious of a passenger when someone noticed unusual sounds coming from his bag. They had followed him after noticing he was acting suspiciously in the arrivals lounge, and when they opened up his bag, found a one-month leopard cub inside. It turned out that he had traveled with the animal all the way from Thailand, and he's thought to have smuggled it in for a private collector. Needless to say, he was arrested for the illegal importation of an animal, and the leopard cub was taken to the zoological park in Tamil Nadu, where it could be cared for. Number 14. Sword Cane Airport scanners enable security staff to see anything that people are trying to smuggle through, but what they find can sometimes also surprise the passengers too. In LaGuardia Airport, New York, the operator saw something unusual on their screen as a man's walking cane went through and upon further investigation, they found that it was concealing a 24-inch long sword. This, of course, is strictly prohibited, but the cane's owner claimed he had no idea of what was hidden inside. He said he had purchased it from an antique store and had the paperwork to prove this, and that the vendor didn't make him aware what he was actually buying. Number 13. A zoo. Some people may try to smuggle one or two animals through security at airports, but in 2011, one passenger was caught trying to sneak their own personal zoo into Thailand. The discovery was made at Bangkok Airport when authorities became suspicious of a first-class passenger who was passing through to board a flight to Dubai. Inside their suitcases were several baby panthers, leopards, and monkeys, which had all been drugged to ensure they remain asleep during the journey. These animals' welfare clearly wasn't a priority to him, but luckily they were found and sent to a veterinarian who nursed them back to health. As for the passenger, they never made their flight and probably won't be able to fly again for a long time. Number 12. Eight-Year-Old Boy People often joke about hiding in suitcases to bag themselves a free holiday. But in 2015, security staff in Spain actually found an eight-year-old boy concealed within one. He was from the Ivory Coast and had been brought into the country by a 19-year-old woman. Said to be in a terrible state, he was sent to a local health center to be taken care of. Amazingly, the woman wasn't related to him at all and had actually been paid by his father to take the case into Spain so the family could be reunited. It was a bold plan and makes you wonder how often it happens without anyone noticing. Number 11. Fishy Drugs Drug smugglers try numerous different methods of trying to take contraband through airports but you might be surprised at the lengths they will go. In 2019, Turkish police followed a tip and took their sniffer dogs to look at a few suspicious crates. The dog immediately signaled something wasn't right, and after opening the boxes, police found five bonito fish that were stuffed with bags of cocaine. Finding 0.12 pounds of the substance in total, this was all they found from this shipment. But they suspect there would have been far more crates that they missed on this occasion. Next time you eat fish and feel some strange effects, Maybe it means you found the rest of them. Number 10. Smoke Grenades There are some things that you quite obviously can't take on a plane with you, but it seems one passenger in 2019 forgot to think about this. TSA screeners at Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey spotted something strange on the scanner and decided to take a look at the contents in the bag. To their surprise, they found six smoke grenades that had been wrapped in bubble wrap, and while they aren't illegal to own, they are definitely not allowed on an aircraft. If one was to be set off during a flight, it would fill the cabin with smoke, cause mass panic, and potentially even enter the cockpit, which could have deadly consequences. The passenger was allowed to board his flight to the Dominican Republic, however, but only after he passed the contraband to a friend of his who wasn't making the trip. Number 9. Dead Snakes in August of 2007, security staff at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport made a particularly gruesome find in the luggage of a traveler from South Korea. Hidden within his bags were 30 dead snakes, a dead bird, and parts of other birds, all of which were packed in jars and bottles. The snakes were preserved in wine and are common in some cultures as a form of medicine, but they were on the endangered species list. And to add further danger, some of the snakes had scorpions in their mouths and were suspected to still contain venom. 
Packages were confiscated, but it was such a serious breach that U.S. Fish and Wildlife officers issued the importer with two citations, one for not declaring the objects, and another for violating laws that are designed to protect endangered species. He was handed an $800 fine and added to a watch list that meant any time he passes through a checkpoint, his bags are almost certainly going to be searched. Number 8. Stun Gun Weapons are a no-no in your hand luggage when you're traveling on a plane, but trying to take a concealed one on board with you can lead to even more serious problems. That's what happened in March of 2015 at Chicago's Midway Airport, when TSA officers discovered what looked like a lipstick, but was actually a stun gun. According to the TSA, stun guns are explicitly prohibited from being taken into aircraft cabins, although they are allowed in checked luggage. Normally, if someone has made a mistake, the weapon will be confiscated. But in a situation when a passenger is carrying a concealed weapon like this, the normal response is to arrest them. In this case, it was never publicized how they dealt with the passenger, but it's more than likely they were able to board the flight they were planning to. Number 7. Tarantulas You've heard of snakes on a plane, but how about spiders? In 2011, authorities at a Swiss airport were searching through a passenger's bags who had just arrived from the Dominican Republic and were stunned at what they found. They weren't just one or two tarantulas, but 261 of them, each of which was packed in its own plastic bag. They were Mexican red kneed tarantulas that can live for up to 30 years and are mildly poisonous to people. Unfortunately, 10 of them had died in transit and the others were in poor health, so were taken to the nearest zoo where they could be cared for. After investigating the traveler, the authorities found out where he was going and that he was delivering his cargo to a dealer. They tracked down his address and when they got there, they found a further 665 tarantulas and 72 giant centipedes that were also potentially harmful to humans. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. Fake Bomb In the summer of 2018, TSA officers at Chicago's O'Hare Airport couldn't believe their eyes when they opened up a passenger's luggage and found a fake bomb inside. It wasn't even that good of a fake, with a hand-drawn timer and three painted red sticks that were atop on what appeared to be a clock radio. It was found as the passenger was passing through the security checkpoint, and even though they didn't appear to be any danger, officials have to treat items like this seriously just in case. It meant that the airport was shut down for 20 minutes, while officials determined what it was, and they were forced to release a statement afterwards to warn passengers that anyone trying to travel with a weapon, no matter if it's fake or not, faces arrest and a huge fine. Number 5. Python in a Hard Drive Increasing attempts to smuggle animals through airport security have led to some unusual methods, but one of the most surprising was found by agents at Miami International Airport in 2018. All check bags are scanned before they're loaded onto a plane, and there was one that was destined to Barbados that looked strange. Operators noticed a large organic mass inside, which they could see wasn't an explosive or drugs. But this just increased the mystery, and even they were shocked when they found what it was. Hidden among clothes and normal items you'd expect to see someone traveling with, they discovered a computer hard drive. Even this wasn't too unusual, but when they opened it, they found a snake hidden inside. One of the officers identified it as a ball or royal python, and the animal was handed over to U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Due to this blatant act of concealment, the passenger who had checked the piece of luggage wasn't allowed to board the plane and had some serious questions to answer. While taking a snake to another country isn't necessarily illegal, it's definitely against the law to try to do so without declaring it. According to the TSA, there have been instances where animals have escaped from bags in the hold and gone on to chew wires of the aircraft, something that could lead to deadly consequences. Number 4. Freddy Krueger Hand since the release of A Nightmare on Elm Street in 1984, people have either been frightened that they might one day come face to face with Freddy Krueger, or loved the movie so much that they wanted their own piece of memorabilia. The most recognizable prop from the movie is Freddy's claw hand, and while there's a debate around the location of the original, it's not hard to find a replica one. With sharp blades protruding from the fingers, it's a potentially deadly weapon, and not something that could be allowed onto an aircraft for obvious reasons. This danger eluded one fan of the franchise in 2018, however, when he packed his replica in his hand baggage and tried to pass through security at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. 
When confronted about it, he didn't see any problems because it was a replica, and he began to tell officers about his love for the movies ever since he first saw them. The glove was of course confiscated, but the passenger was still allowed to travel. It seems the officials saw the funny side of it and told him that if he ever felt the need to travel with a new hand in the future, that he should make sure it's in his checked luggage. Number 3. Live Tortoises In early 2019, officials working at the Bureau of Customs in Ninoy Aquino International Airport in the Philippines saw a peculiar anomaly when they scanned some boxes that had been left abandoned in the arrivals area. Brought into the country by a Filipino passenger who had traveled from Hong Kong, they soon found 1,529 tortoises, and amazingly, they were all still alive. There were four different species, star tortoises, redfoot tortoises, sulcata tortoises, and re-eared sliders, and the smugglers had covered them in duct tape to try to prevent them from moving in transit. In the Philippines, violating the customs laws can lead to two years in prison and a fine of around $4,000 so it's thought the person who traveled with them left them in the airport because he was worried about being caught. Despite his attempts to flee, he was eventually tracked down and had to answer for his crime. The tortoises, however, were sent to the Wildlife Traffic Monitoring Unit, which rehoused them at a local wildlife center for assessment and rehoming. Luckily, all of the animals survived their ordeal and became part of a conservation program. Wildlife smuggling is one of the most common custom breaches in this airport, and thanks to the efforts of authorities here, in 2018, more than 560 wildlife and endangered species were recovered. And in 2019, they found one consignment that contains 63 iguanas, chameleon, and bearded dragons. Number two, guns. No matter where you live in the world and what the local laws are in regards to firearms, you should know that the only people allowed to carry guns into the cabins of an aircraft are those with permits that explicitly give them the permission to do so. It's not uncommon for an air marshal, for example, to be on board with a weapon, and sometimes law enforcement agents or even the flight crew are allowed to carry guns too. But for the rest of us, it's either completely banned or firearms can only be transported in checked luggage. This doesn't, however, stop people from trying to board a plane with their piece, whether purposefully or accidentally. You might expect the number of incidents of this happening to be quite rare, but the numbers reported by the TSA in the United States are unbelievable. According to their statistics, in 2019, there was an average of 12 guns found in hand luggage or passenger per day, with a total of 4,432 found in the year. 87% of these were loaded, and 34%, or 1,507 guns, had a bullet in the chamber. The weapons were found at 278 airports across the country, but there are some places where it's more common than others. The worst was the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, where 323 guns were found. That's almost one per day. While Denver, Dallas, Phoenix, and Dallas-Fort Worth were also in the top 10. This is a 5% increase on the year before, and this is a trend that's been continuing ever since the TSA began keeping records in 2001. According to them, if you want to travel with your firearm, you should first ensure that it isn't loaded, and then go to the airline desk and declare it. The gun should be packed in a hard-sided locked case, and the ammunition should be kept separately in its original box. Both the gun and ammo are placed in special compartment in the plane's hold, and this way, it prevents any passengers on board from getting a hold of it and causing severe problems mid-flight. Due to dangers involved with failing to comply with these rules, passengers are liable to huge punishments. Depending on the weapon involved, fines can be as high as $13,000, although for a first-time offense, it's likely to be closer to $4,100 and arrest. Number 1. Chastity Belt In 2003, a British woman was passing through Athens Airport to board a plane back home to England, when security officials were scratching their heads as trying to understand why she kept setting off the metal detector, she had removed her jacket, shoes, and belt, but still the alarms were sounding, and they took her to a private room to investigate further. It was at this point that the woman confessed something to them. She was wearing a chastity belt and didn't have the key she needed to take it off. The officials had never seen anything like this before and were told by the woman that her husband had forced her to wear it to make sure she didn't cheat on him during her trip. Eventually, she was allowed to pass through while still wearing the belt, and the pilot of her plane took responsibility and permitted her to board. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.